One of the biggest mysteries of the entire solar system is in that of why the asteroid belt exists. It's completely anomalous and overwhelmingly suggesting that a dramatic solar event in the very distant past is responsible for its formation and the ancient Earth inhabitants do tell us that a planet once existed here. Imagine being an Earth citizen thousands of years ago when a mega event took place in the close proximity of space that we call home. You would try to document these happenings and it seems that is what the ancient Sumerians tried to do. The Sumerians do tell us that the home of the gods collided with the planet which used to exist in what the asteroid belt is today. They knew of the existence of this gigantic debris field thousands of years ago when recent observations were only confirmed in 1801 when an Italian astronomer discovered the dwarf Ceres back in 1801 it was expected that a planet would exist between Mars and Jupiter so the asteroid belt was a huge surprise. The combined mass of the asteroid belt is thought to be the size of Earth's moon so not a huge planetary mass but other objects like our moon could potentially have helped form this lost planet. When the solar event occurred according to the Sumerians from outer space a new planet Marduk almost the size of Jupiter or Saturn approached. Attracted to this solar system by the gravitational pull of Neptune and Uranus moving in a clockwise direction past Neptune and Uranus the path of Marduk took him towards the giants Saturn and Jupiter. As he passed by Uranus portions of Marduk were pulled off to become four satellites or winds. Marduk neared Saturn and Jupiter and their massive gravitational pulls bent his orbit drastically inward forcing his path to be aimed directly at Tiamat. The gravitational pulls of the two giants also caused three more chunks of Marduk to be pulled from his body. They too became satellites to encircle Marduk. The now seven satellites moved towards Tiamat with her 11 satellites. The force of Marduk's passing caused huge electrical and gravitational disturbances that ripped into her and one of his moons named Evil Wind hit Tiamat splitting but not quite breaking her in two yet knocking her satellites away from her and smashing them to pieces. The paths they were thrown into were clockwise like Marduk's and their paths would become large elliptical orbits around the sun. They had been changed into the comets which regularly revisit this solar system. Isn't it strange that the ancients knew more about the solar system than we do? Why is that you have to wonder? And what do you guys think about the asteroid belt? Comments below and as always thank you for watching.